Hello and welcome to this lesson where we're going to learn about page breaks and sort of learn about what text does when it reaches the bottom of a page. This is something that you'll use constantly in Word uh, as you type longer documents. So here we go down to the uh, first page break that Word has basically inserted for us. Um, you know what happened here is you know we're typing all this information and we get to the bottom and because Word is trying to maintain the one inch margins in this document this sentence so what does the future hold for math tutor DVD it decides to uh, stop putting text on this page to put a page break here that's what this is and um, basically continue to paragraph on the next page now for for many people I mean this would be just perfectly fine but to some people especially for a short document like this just two pages you probably don't want to interrupt the flow of your readers from this sort of section here and then make them go to the next page and also that next page is awfully short now so there's there's really not a lot of reason to do it that way so there are a couple of things you can do to try to to get the page break to look the way you want the first thing is you might decide to insert your own page break instead of letting Word control where to put the page break automatically in this case you can force it to break wherever you want so since we're inserting a page break you're going to go to the insert menu remember or the insert tab on the ribbon um, you know basically everything here is stuff that you're inserting into your document and one of the very first things I mean there's cover page blank page page break it's so common uh, in fact, you can see that the tooltip says control return will do a page break as well, but it's so common it's right here. My cursor is right where I want the page break. I'll go ahead and hit this, and what has been done is I've basically um, caused Word to put the page break at the location I wanted to, and so all the text gets shoved down, uh, including my little header here, and so it looks exactly the way I want it to look. Now, yes, you have a little bit of additional white space here, you know, so so I guess you could say, well, you're you're, you know the, the paper's not being used fully but since it's a two page document anyway it doesn't really matter um, there so that is something very useful now let me show you one more thing let me turn this paragraph uh, formatting show hide on you can see everything when you go down when we turn that on and off you can see again another hidden tag Microsoft is telling you hey you guys put a page break here this is something that you inserted normally when you're reading the document you can't even tell if you put the page break or if Word automatically put the page break if you ever need to know you need to turn this on alright so for now let me go put my cursor there and hit the backspace key and delete that page break and also delete this basically this return this new paragraph I'm gonna hit the delete key to delete that and when all that stuff is gone word pulls everything back up so that this sentence is broken across the page break boundary just like it was when we started this lesson so let me go ahead and ask you another thing or tell you another thing there is another way to handle this personally I like to just insert the page breaks wherever I want especially for short documents but that could get cumbersome for longer documents if this were a 50 page document I'd have to scroll down and see on every page where do I want to put the page break and that's not very um, it's not a very good use of your time so if you go into the paragraph uh, part of the home ribbon here and pull the fly out here to the paragraph settings then you will see some extra options here okay the one that I want to bring your attention to is the third one keep lines together this is an option you don't have to do this the default is not for this to be enabled but if you keep lines together then word is basically going to try to keep the paragraph intact across the page boundary it's, it's going to try not to split it up now before we do this you see this is a document that's already been created so we want to apply that option to the entire document so let's hit control a or you could select all of the text if you wanted to just so that we're applying this this feature to the entire document we'll change it to a check mark keep lines together and then we'll hit OK and we will see at that point basically it took that paragraph and it shoved it down uh, there and when you hit the show hide there's no manual page break there you did not manually insert a page break word did it automatically it's just that it's following this new rule that you asked it to follow which is to try to keep lines together across the page boundaries now again you have some extra white space uh, depending on how long your paragraphs are it could if it's trying to keep them together all the time it might push things around and make the document longer so you need to be aware of that um, but if you have short documents, if you like having paragraphs all on one page without breaking thing up, things up, it's, it's a good option to have. 
The other option that's usually enabled by default but you can turn it off is widow orphan control and that's basically going to be a situation where if you're typing you know down here and then you get to the point where you have like one cent one line of a paragraph appears at the bottom of the page and then the rest of the paragraph appears on the on the next page word will push it down so that this orphaned line does not uh, basically uh, uh, stand by itself it'll push it down automatically so my recommendation is definitely keep the top one checked that's going to keep single lines from appearing at the bottom or the top of your pages um, I like to keep lines together personally unless it starts generating a lot of white space that I don't like and of course you can turn all that stuff off and manage it yourself by inserting page breaks wherever you want to uh, so I encourage you to go ahead and play with that and learn how it works. And if you really want to know what Word's doing, hit the formatting button there so you can see the hidden uh, ways in which Microsoft is really formatting the document.